Hello everyone, welcome to Answer Kari. In this video, we'll continue dealing with the previous year UPSC questions. So the first question for today says the number of times the digit five will appear while writing the integers from one till one thousand is. So we'll just so the question says that the number of times that the digit five is being used while we write the integers from one till one thousand. The number of times. So for answering this question, we will just break the solution into parts. For example, when we calculate the number of times 5 appears from 1 till 9, it will be equal to 1. Right? 5 appears just once. And when we calculate it for 10 till 99, like for the two digit numbers, then what happens is 5 appears in numbers like 15, 25, 35, etc. So in this manner, 5 appears 8 times. And when we calculate the numbers from like 50, 51, 52, 53. So see, till 54, that is 5 times 5 appears. Then 2 times 5 appears in the number 55. Then again we have 56, 57, 58 and 59. So again it will be 4. So after adding these, we will get 11. Which means that the number of times 5 appears from 10 till 99 will be equal to 8 plus 11 times. So it will be, we are not checking the numbers here. We are checking about digit 5. If we were checking the numbers, then this would have been 10. Right? But here they are asking about the digit specifically. So plus 1 is aega for the case of 55. So here it will be equal to 19. Then we have from 100 till 999. Now since 1000 obviously doesn't have 5 so how can need be near. From 100 till 999 if we check then the numbers that we will have will be equal to see we make 3 dashes here for checking. So the numbers where when 5 is present here specifically are the units place. But it is not present at the 100's place and 10's place. So the case for this will be equal to 8. And then here it will be 9. Because here 5 is and all the rest of it can come here. And here 5 and also 0 cannot come here. So it will be 8 into 9 which will be equal to 72. So 72 such numbers are there. Which means that 5 appears 72 times. When it is at unit's place. Then if you check for the 10's place then what happens is here again 9 digits can come. And here again 8 digits. So it will again be equal to 72. But when 5 is here, then here 9 digits can come. And here also 9 digits. So it will be equal to 81. After we add this, we will get... ...22. So it will be 225. But we are missing the times when 5 appears... At all the three places and at two places. We have of one place ka calculate kar hai, that when 5 is present either at unit space or at 10 space or at 100 space. There will be cases when 5 appears at all the three places. So when 5 appears, so we'll just write 1 here. Right? So when 5 appears at two places, that is when it when 5 appears at units place as well as 100 space, but not at this place. Then such numbers will be equal to 8 into 1 into 1 which will be equal to 8. Right? And when 5 appears at the 10th place and at 100th place but it does not appear at this place. Then such numbers will be equal to 9. Like 1 into 1 into 9 so it will be equal to 9. And when 5 appears at the 100th place and at the units place. Then again such numbers will be equal to 9. This 9 is here because we cannot write 5 here, right? And 8 because we cannot write 5 as well as 0 at this 100 space. So it will be equal to 9. After we add this, we get answer is equal to 26. So the cases where we have 5, so the number of times that 5 will appear will be equal to like when it is at 2 places, it will be equal to 26. Then we will calculate it when 5 appears at all the 3 places right so then 5 will appear 3 times so it will be 3 here in this case so here we will have to multiply this by 2 
here we have multiplied this by 3 so we will multiply this by 2 as well so it will be equal to 52 so we will add 52 2 to 5 and 3 plus 19 and then 1 so it will become 20 to 25 plus it will be 55 so after adding this we will get 300 so 300 will be our answer to this question so basically what happens here is first we will calculate for the times when five first we will calculate the number of times a digit appears from 1 till 9 it will be equal to 1 then we calculated from 10 till 99 that is 19 the reason being see the numbers are 18 in which 5 appears but we are calculating the number of times that digit 5 appears so digit 5 2 times appears in this particular number mein. so we will add plus 1 to 10 and so it will be 11 then after adding it will become 19 then for the case of 100 till 999 the cases could have been that 5 is only in units place paro, for example like so, how many numbers are there in which 5 is coming in the unit space? Par, we calculated this. That will be equal to 72. Which means 72. 5 is there for 72 times he is coming. Because it is coming in the number only in the number. Right? So, here we didn't multiply this 225 by any other number. But in this case, what happens is 5 appears 2 times. So, just we multiplied this final result by 2. Which gave us 52. Then in this case 5 appears 3 times like the number. This is the number of 5, 5, 5. Right? So here 5 3 times. Are the digit 5 appears 3 times. That is the reason why we multiplied. There will be one such number. But is this number mein 5 kitni bada hai? This by which we are multiplying. Same is case mein ki numbers aise 26 hai, jin mein 5 2 times. Are but the number of times 5 is appearing will be equal to into 2. Right? Then we get 52. So after summing these up, we get the answer as 300. Therefore, 300 will be the answer to this question. Now to continue with the next question. Sunita cuts a sheet of paper into three pieces. Sunita has a sheet of paper which she cuts into. So now we can imagine that this is the sheet of paper. Now Sunita cuts it into three pieces. Length of first piece is equal to average of the three single digit odd prime numbers. You have your first statement. The second clue says length of the second piece is equal to that of the first plus one third of the length of the third. Okay. Then the third statement says the third piece is as long as the other two pieces together. The length of the original sheet of paper is. Now here what happens is. So we can suppose it to be x, right? They are asking us the length of the original sheet of paper, which means that this whole is equal to x, right? Length of the original sheet of paper. Then they say, if we have statement-wise, then we solve the whole variables along with the variables. The other way is, if we directly keep on reading what we are saying, then we can make out what can be the numbers. So first they are saying the third piece is as long as the other two pieces together. Which means suppose we have this sheet of paper in three parts. So this sum that is 1 plus 2 will be equal to third. So equal to what means that this is half of the sheet and this sheet is half of the sheet. This is what it means. Which means that I can draw a type of symmetrical line here which shows that this whole is the third piece right and this is the first plus the second piece like a plus b I won't be writing this right now so ek to ye inference ho gaya. second it says length of the second piece is equal to that of the first plus one third the length of the third okay so if just a second so if I write here that suppose the first piece, the length of the first piece is equal to A. So then they say the length of first piece is equal to average of three single digit all prime numbers. So prime numbers we have 2, 3, 5, 7, then we have 11, 17, 19, so on. Now this is the basic knowledge that one must have. You cannot compromise with this. What they are saying is that we need the average. Ek average. Kiska average hai? 
थ्री ओके थ्री नंबर होने चाहिए सिंगल डिजिट नंबर होने चाहिए और नंबर होने चाहिए प्राइम नंबर होने चाहिए ये सारी कंडीशन फुलफिल कर रहे हैं थ्री फाइव और सेवन सिंगल डिजिट के हैं और है प्राइम नंबर है थ्री और प्राइम नंबर राइट ऑफ सिंगल डिजिट उनका हमें एवरेज चाहिए सो इट विल बी एवरेज इज इक्वल टू वर्ड थ्री प्लस फाइव प्लस सेवन अपॉन थ्री थ्री मीन्स जितने नंबर्स का हम ले रहे हैं सो इट बिकम्स फिफ्टीन अपॉन थ्री विच मीन्स फाइव सो हमें फर्स्ट वाले की लेंथ पता लग गई दैट इज फाइव यूनिट्स हम मान लेते हैं बिकॉज इसी एग्जैक्टली ऑप्शन में भी यूनिट्स लिखा हुआ है बिकॉज वी आर नॉट गिवन की सेंटीमीटर मीटर है क्या देन फॉर द सेकेंड थिंग वी कैन से लेंथ ऑफ द सेकेंड पीस के हमें मुझे क्लू दिया हुआ है इट इज इक्वल टू दैट ऑफ द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट यानी कि फर्स्ट पीस प्लस वन थर्ड द लेंथ ऑफ द थर्ड पीस फॉर द थर्ड पीस वर्ड दिस इज दैट थ्री इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी विच आर जस्ट नाउ एक्सप्लेन योर राइट इज एज लॉन्ग एज द अदर टू पीसेज टूगेदर सो अदर टू पीसेज आर ए एंड बी ओनली सो वट विल डू हेयर इज सी ए वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ ए द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू फाइव सो हेयर विल जस्ट रिप्लेस सो we can put the value of b here in c so it will be this implies c is equal to a is equal to 5 plus the value of b is equal to 5 that is a plus 1 upon 3 c right this whole bracket thing is b so it will be 5 plus 5 plus 1 upon 3 c so we can continue solving this here so it will be equal to c is equal to We take the LCM. It will be five again, fifteen plus C, which will be equal to three C is equal to thirty plus C, which means two C will be equal to thirty. This implies C is equal to fifteen. Now C we know is fifteen, A we know is five. So B will be equal to ten because we know that A plus B is equal to C. Since A fifteen हो गया, A five हो गया, B will be equal to ten. so we know the value of a the value of b that is the length of b or the second piece and we know the value of the third piece which will be equal to 15 then they say the length of the original sheet of paper is it will be equal to a plus b plus c it will be equal to x right the whole paper so the answer for this question will be equal to 30 units which means 30 units will be the answer for this question thank you